Hi everybody, welcome to Angie Blog, welcome to my channel. I miss you guys, I haven't been here in a little while, but you know, if you look at my Angie Blog community, I update you guys, I keep you updated. So yes, uh, this reading, uh, you know, if you're guided here, is whether it's a thumbnail, whether you found it on TikTok, recently I just posted it about, this channel received a couple days ago, but I was just waiting for confirmation because, you know, it's divinely guided. I'm just here to warn someone specifically about this message. Also that you are protected, okay? But one of the things is I receive it through a vision. So basically I'm, I was seeing, um, it's someone like obsessive. Like this person, I don't think they understand what boundaries are. They don't have boundaries within themselves. So I feel like this person also is very possessive, very, um, uh, very jealous and envious, okay? This is someone who's like possessing someone uh, or trying to control someone or, and if they're not able to control it, they, they are skilled. And this is something that it was taught to them either by a friend or a family member or something like that. So I kept seeing in a vision someone like on their phone or their computer, like completely checking on someone. And someone, it could be a woman or a man, I don't know, but I see this person like, they're kind of sweaty, they sweat a lot. Um, they also like, they could have anxiety and stuff like that. Um, this is someone who compulsively watches something like, not saying that it's nothing wrong with watching the same thing, but this person would watch the specific person on the phone or computer or something like that. It could be a YouTube channel or something like that. Um, and it felt like a third party energy because this person can no longer, doesn't have control over someone else. So this is what's giving them like, that they cannot accept that. So this is someone who can accept rejection or, you know, someone telling them like, I need to keep my distance, like you're nuts, you know? This is someone who ne definitely needs to go to uh, be in a psychiatric ward, okay? They need to be in a place, like a mental institution. Nothing is wrong with that. It's just that this person is, they've been getting warnings about this to stop doing it. And I feel like this is someone who is doing it to a chosen one. So everything that they do is backfire. So if they've done love spell, sex magic, all that stuff, dark magic, witchcraft, trying to control someone's love energy, because this feels like it's like love. It's like they don't love themselves, right? They're hurting themselves. And then when that backfire, now they're carrying this stuff. They're carrying this like you know the sex the love spell and all of that in their body and they cannot release it and now right now they're using toxic ways to release it right so they're using alcohol drugs and the more they're they're into their shadow the more they are manipulated by the enemy so this enemy is also using it to block two divine counterparts this is why there has been a lot of divine intervention and separations so if you look at the community I was recently guided to repost uh, someone talking about why is there divine separation. That could be significant for some of you, okay? Uh, there's two angel messages when I was doing my uh, each of the signs that I'm doing. It's going to be posted on TikTok, okay? So stay tuned on YouTube Reel, okay? And here, it's going to be short and sweet as well. Uh, Spirit wants me to focus on that because we are going into uh, New Moon in Capricorn on December 23rd. And this could be a message for that, to be aware of that New Moon Capricorn energy because Capricorn, when it's in a low vibration, it can be very, 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 you know, destroy, kill, and uh, murder, and all of that, right? And really stuck in the shadow side. The shadow side that a lot of us think that nobody's capable of but if these people choose the dark side yes they are capable okay and a lot of us need to understand that this world it's not a a fairy tale land this is real stuff and also right now we're dealing with spiritual warfare at the same time as well so now it's like learning how to ground ourselves okay um interesting enough there was a lot of energies like uh, capricorn sisters uh, virgo and taurus you will understand a lot of this energy more than all the others so make sure if your cup is full and you are a speaker a journalist writer creative make sure that you're helping your sister out the capricorns okay because they when they get into their shadow side their dark side they're really there okay and that came up as well in the reading of Capricorn as well. So we will tap into that. If you have Capricorn energy in your energy as well, check out in your birth chart, your Capricorn. What does it do? What is the, what are the negative influences? How can you 
not avoid that because there's lessons there too, but how can you learn from those lessons and not stay there, not stay victimized? Because right now we're letting go of the codependency and Capricorn devil energy is codependency, right? So how can we heal that? How can we detach from that? How can we learn about detachment so we can learn about the law of attraction? How can we attract what we already want, who, are we, who, we're, who we already are? That too, Capricorn is about releasing karmic contracts, right? So a lot of you, if you choose to release, because that's what you're here for, your body, your vessel is for that. And you're very protected during that process. When you choose to do that process, there's a lot of healing that goes to that. There's also a lot of ego death as well. We're manifesting better healing and when we go into this ego death you know that it's manageable that we can be balanced that we don't hurt ourselves or hurt others that we let go of selfishness and greed um anyways i will tap into other uh channel messages that i have as well but that was one specific um the other one a message that i will put also here it will be in the description here but also will be in the channel in the video so check out the playlist it was called about karma so this is specific about that third party receiving karma and what exactly does karma mean so that video is also related to this as well okay god works in a mysterious way but my beautiful people if you're seeing 444 11 11 this is your message okay but let's read it for you it says 444 trust your journey this is your angels okay and whenever you see that if this message resonates with you it's for you okay just know that you are protected and also divinely guided okay this could be twin flame with 11 11 here in the 444 so we can be talking about someone who is a counterfeit Oh my God, spirit, a cup holder. Oh my God. Anyways, I don't want to laugh because I feel, you know, I feel like this person is blocking their blessing also for them finding their own soulmate. So they already blocked that for themselves. We're trying to intervene into two and frame this connection. So this is someone who is a karmic, like a karmic. Someone is supposed to learn a lesson and let this go. And they did. And this karma is going nuts. Okay. This is where I'm going at. So 444, trust your journey, trust the way your life unfolds, and trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment. I am protected, okay? So a lot of Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, that too, that message that I'm going to release soon about Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, I think it will be a reading as well for each of you in a separate way, but you're not separated, you're in alignment, but this is a collective general energy, okay? But it could be divine love, divine connection, twin flame, or high level soulmate. But remember, twin flame is not everybody is in this energy, okay? It's, it's a life experience, it's, an, it's a lot of healing in that energy, but it's which is why not a lot of people it's in the twin flame connection, okay? So, and that too, not a lot of people choose that path because it's so hard. But God doesn't give us things that we cannot overcome. So if you are in the Twin Flame connection, you're meant to overcome whatever because you said it that you would. <laughs> you and your person, you're like, yes, we will do this. And you came down here and somewhere along the way, you know, and that's why the enemy is trying to work for you guys to keep that separation mentality, that old program, you staying asleep. Your job here is to awaken and help other people, you know, with their life message and purpose as you have as you heal individually and come together as one because you're very powerful as one also when you watch avatar i do have a reading for that but you will understand also if you watch avatar 2 you will see these two powerful jake and um oh my god i forgot her name how did i forget her name she's amazing um you know the wife of jake <laughs> you know oh my god i forgot her name she's amazing oh no she's beautiful <laughs> anyways you know who i'm talking about together you will see like they are power and her yo divine feminine energy you know what i'm saying but yeah go check out that movie okay and make sure you watch it watch it in imax oh my god it's so good <laughs> anyways the universe arranging people 11 11 and experience and experiences on your path to help you succeed and helping you wake up to who you truly are i am awakening Okay, so a lot of you, you're having a lot of troll, troll, whoa. I meant th throat. <laughs> oh my God, guys.
is where are we getting into i just feel it already there's a lot of trolls in your energy protect your peace okay you're protected already but don't be naive okay seriously also <laughs> expect the retaliation for people that you cut off yeah this is the third party energy that i'm talking about those who have decided like oh fuck this <laughs> i learned my lesson thank you bye yeah this is who i'm talking to let's tap into this reading okay i don't know what spirit but someone needs to hear this all right so let's tap in Woo! okay spirit and your michael please protect me of that energy let us know what we need to know about this reading this third party energy first i wanted to see okay so we have hathor in reverse 35 Ah, Horus, okay. You know, guys, the story about Horus, right? He's the son of Isis and Osiris, okay? Clear seeing, intention, perspective. So someone's not looking at things from a different perspective, and this is why this is happening. Oh, God, no. Yeah, someone, their clear vision, their intuition has been blocked their intentions, their manifestation, they're not protected. Someone's here is not divinely protected, okay? This third party energy. So someone's getting a warning here. While some of you who have chose this, Archangel Raphael is healing your energy right now. Intuition, health, and healing, okay? So some of you who have chosen, I feel like with the green is also heart chakra healing. This is why you're heavily protected too. And this could be the two of you, okay? 17, yeah awesome look who's coming through christ consciousness beautiful so you guys are meant to forgive forgive this third party forgive the forgive each other okay some of you i don't know if this person is ready for you or this is you know because they just came out of the situation so there's a lot of forgiveness and healing going on some of you patience okay jesus energy christ consciousness compassion the spiritual teachers a lot of you are spiritual teachers a lot of you you're here to awaken a lot of people 17 could be significant are we the 17 today yes we are by the time i'm filming this we are the 17 thank you jesus love you so much yeah it's so nice yeah he's protecting someone here Raphael as well someone who could have had like access or ancient knowledge or something like that someone's that has been blocked i don't know what they did so we're gonna tap into this same bridget passion fire growth a lot of you are focusing on your power your passion your growth spirit wants you to do that okay something about the 20th could be significant 35 8 wait the 35 2 17 and 20 could be significant okay hmm but yeah you have a saint you have an archangel you have an ascended master which is the son of god yes boo coming through then we have horus in reverse which i don't like that because horus is really nice energy as well but someone is trying to I mean, it's not working because Horus is very powerful. But again, Jesus Christ energy is much more. Um, we're going to confirm this, okay? We're going to see why. I'm going to use this deck. Thank you guys for liking, commenting, and share. I don't do personal readings, okay? So make sure that you are... Uh, subscribe okay so i can pick up on your energy so you help us continue the channel okay and also other people are able to receive these messages as well okay I, this deck is calling all right spirit let's talk about this third party why is horus energy here yeah someone's been wearing a mask yeah they're pretending putting up a front two face not genuine yeah this person was wearing a mask i don't know if this is divine mask from divine feminine or is this third party so we're going to confirm spirit protected aura divine intervention guarding angel shielding so someone's protecting you from this person wearing a mask okay some of you are very authentic you're very in your higher vibration you're forgiven the situation you have compassion about this you understand this other person no judgment you know jesus christ consciousness that's what you are some of you are spiritual teachers you're meant to be doing this also your solar plexus is lit 
you're also healing your heart chakra. Some of you, it's like you're healed, but you're continuing healing, which is beautiful, okay? Now, are you seeing things from a different perspective or not? Are you listening to karmic situation, right? There's a lot of drama. There's someone creating chaos and drama right now, creating problem, thirsty for attention, overreacting, drama queen, okay? So this, whoever this is, is dealing with a drama queen. I'm telling you, a uh, very obsessive psychopath. You want to say that, yeah. Someone who they found in a dating app. Someone found this in a dating app. Yeah, dating site, hooking up, seeing someone, one night stands. Yuck. So yeah, you're being protected by this energy, divine feminine or divine masculine. Someone who is like constantly doing this, like coping or wearing a mask. Um, they don't want to feel their feelings. They, someone doesn't want to face you, I'm hearing. Like they feel ashamed or embarrassed because that's what they were doing. Some of you know that this is what they were doing. Yeah, someone's constantly hooking up. They're not serious. They're not committal. Okay, so. But this is someone who found this person in a dating site. And oh boy, did they regret this. Yeah. They thought that this person was their muse or something like that. Inspired by you, listening to music, emotional bonds, song lyrics. Some of you, this and now this person wants to date you. But the spirit is trying to keep this person away from you because they have to heal. Now, this karmic knows this. This karmic knows this. Yeah, look. Your person could be watching you, being watched, social media, stalking, keeping an eye on you, obsessed with you. Exactly. This karmic knows that you're someone's news. This person that was with them, or I don't know if this person used them for a good night stand, you know, why not stand, and that was it. And they, this person took it like to another level or something like that. Others of you, this person could have had multiple dates while also dealing with your person. Your person wasn't aware of this, so yeah. They were too focused on trying to create like an image or something or try to keep an image. But also like they're stalking you. Someone's stalking someone. I don't know if it's your person or you. Someone's doing this, okay? But again, I don't want to uh, put anybody into fear. That's not what I'm here for. You are protected, okay? So continue doing your thing, okay? But Spirit wants to warn you about this specific thing because they want you to use spiritual discernment, okay? <sighs> Memories. Reminiscing, dwelling, good times, looking back. Someone's praying for you or praying for themselves because there's someone reptilian and I can't make this up. They're trying to, they're plotting payback, punishing, getting even. Bueno. What's the energy spirit? Let's just, yeah, that's what it is. It's been illuminated. This person knows about this jealous, envious energy. Okay. This person is really doing the most right now, but you're protected. Okay. So yeah, the truth has been revealed to this third party, revealing the truth, confession, shedding the light. Your person could have told this person like, I don't want to be with you. I'm in love with someone else and has always been the case. I feel like this person was just a cup holder because this person, obviously they're both getting their karma because you just don't use people like that, right? Also, your person could have been kind of jealous of you, kind of derailed from, a, I don't know, whatever that you were doing, it was kind of bothering this person, but again, limited, they were operating in their shadow. This is why they attract the shadow side. Okay, but now they're focusing, they're realizing of the shadow, they're going through the ego death and they're getting out of that. Now, whoever was in that process is fucking crazy. Okay, jealous. Like, and also they're stalking you, your social media and their social media, if they have, some of you, your person has literally stopped communication completely because they are afraid. I mean, they shouldn't because you're protected. But they are afraid of this jealous person coming, maybe telling you about their past before they do. Uh, this person, I don't know, there's no content or communication here. But here, rumors, pettiness, being envious, talking behind your back. Your person could have been doing this with this karmic. I'm just being honest with you. This is why some of this person's blessing as well has been disconnected. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. In a couple of days, the spirit wants to let you know that they might come. No, they're coming to communicate. They've been guided by literally Christ. Christ, like they have to speak the truth. They have to ask for forgiveness. They have, there's an apology here. Okay, why? Because this person was heavily influenced by anything. It could be toxic drugs, alcohol, or this karmic, karmic family, friends, whatever. In the near future, a few days to weeks, few months, direction forward. Some of you are you're moving on. You already are though. That's why you're just like, you don't give a fuck about this. Like you really don't care. But this person is gonna try to do, you know, just be aware of this, like use spiritual discernment, okay? And make sure that after this reading, like I always say, go talk to the most high. 
go meditate and pray, okay? Because you have literally the influences, others involved, third parties, intervention, manipulation, and there's justice coming in. That's karma, okay? Legal models, court visit, legal papers, divorce, someone's going through a divorce, someone had to, I'm hearing an element or, or wow. Yes, yeah, so this is someone, it could have been very gullible or something like that, like they didn't see what this person was doing. Someone here could have been emotionally manipulated. Yeah, illusion, keeping things inside, not opening up, deception, yeah. They were deceived. They chose somewhere else and they were deceived. That's really what's going on here, you know? The justice is here, karmic justice. We're still going through uh, justice and balancing. There's something's gonna be balanced. Something if it was unbalanced is going to be balanced no matter what, okay? So some of you, if this person decide to stay in this karmic situation, this is gonna balance where you will find something new. Some of you, you're already feeling that you're detaching for this, you're moving on because, you know, you forgive, you send love and lie, you pray for the person because you know what they're going through. A lot of you, if you're in a twin flame connection, you feel this energy. Also, you know that your Holy Spirit has spoken to you about this, that this is why this cannot be uh, coming in. But no weapon against us shall prosper. I just heard that. This jealousy energy is not going to, it's already losing. And this is why they're retaliating. Your person also needs to cut this off. I'm going to leave some videos that are resonating with this. I already posted on Anja Community Blog, but I will put it in the description below for you guys. It's the continuation of this energy that has been picked up already by beautiful queens, okay? So go check them out. It will be also confirmation for you, and you know, for synchronicities and uh, confirmation, okay? So we have the Page of Pentacles. Literally, I just talk about all the readings this is the page of pentacles is readings okay some of you could be tower readers oracle readers some of you also you are very business savvy you are you could create multiple uh business or you're very smart you really focus on your own thing others of you page talks about communication this person wants to offer something long term because pentacle talks about long term longevity also i don't know some of you it could be maybe an offer a new offer yeah this person sees you as a wish fulfillment okay but see they collaborated with a third party that's what the tower moment they realized that they really went the wrong way now they want to work for this they want to work with you they want to yeah they see us your happiness some of you is yes they want to this is your divine mask and energy the emperor okay this person could have gone within you know close cycles okay they could be guarded right now they're not sure how to approach you because you're in your power yeah they know that you're having offers from other people, but you doesn't mean that you're accepting these offers, right? Some of you, they were dealing with a player, or they could be in that player energy, right? They weren't happy. Someone wasn't happy. Wow, 10-10. They weren't happy about the situation, okay? They were emotionally fulfilled. Like they, I feel like this person feels strict. Like, yeah, they're listening to spirit. They're moving for rough water to come water, so this is what they want to do with you, okay? Okay, Spirit, let's talk about the Page of Pentacles. Again, it came out the Nine of Cups. I can't make this up. You are the wish fulfillment. This person could be dealing with some alcohol situation. I feel like the karmic, this is where, yeah, when they're mad, I'm telling you, nothing is working. This person could be doing some stuff in this person's uh, alcohol drinks or food or something like that. Like, try to manipulate this person to stay with them, to stay married to them. If they got married automatically, like, without even thinking. Also, they don't want this person to be with you, like reconcile with you or go, you know, there's there's something, an influence here happening, okay? This person is, yeah, some of you, your person wants to speak the truth, but they, it's like they feel like there's a blockage, yeah. Some of it is that, is that they have to let this girl, this karmic, also they have to heal if they have any jealousy energy, negative influences, uh, moderate their alcohol intake or drugs or if they're addicted to porn or something like that i don't know there's something here very all this involved this person is used to this third party situation you're nobody's third party you're just not and you're not accepting divine feminines we're not accepting this shit and it's just what it is this person knows this you have high standards for a reason yeah this is literally this is someone like having sleepless nights yeah, I feel like this person was very logical in the past, you know. Yeah, 
they were very like cutthroat kind of thing cold hard cold and stuff like that like they wouldn't show you emotion they wouldn't show you that they care about you it was just really i feel like this person was playing games you know and they could be influenced by other people to do this like oh that will be more attractive oh women love that no they don't whoever gave them that advice they suck okay this is another thing that your person has to forgive as well as all these people who literally negative influence them from away from you because the truth has been revealed these people are jealous and envious of this person it's just what it is so this person's journey or you being with this person like yeah you're you're really high vibration also you speak your truth you don't care there's a lot of people like they want i'm hearing shut the fuck up yeah they have done shut the fuck up spells so some of you could be seers with the high priestess here you're a high priestess yeah very empathetic very loving but these people think that because you are very empathetic and very loving that they can come and do no you're in your power the king of wands energy you're taking action you're an action taker like yeah some of you, it's like they could have projected their fears and security. This person could have done that too. And some of you, you were transmuted and alchemized that, the temperance energy. Yeah, to keep you confused. Some of you, this person could have played games like trying to make you feel like rejected or something like that. But at the end of the day, you rejected all of this. That too, this person could have feel rejected or something. They could have played games because they were feeling bored, which is really toxic as fuck, you know? Yeah, now they want the emotional fulfillment because they weren't fulfilled with their work. Now they want it with you. So a lot of you, use, please use discernment, okay? Yeah, see? There's a lot of toxicity. This confirms this. The influence, the justice is coming in for all of this. I'm telling you, there could be spell work, witchcraft done to this person and you. You, you're in a high vibration. You're your own wish fulfillment. You're not it, like, yeah, now this person wants to apologize. They want to take this leap of faith. Yeah. Some of you, this person is holding on to your energy. Also, this karmic is holding to this person's energy too. Mm -hmm. Or try to. See, the devil, again, this could be a Capricorn energy. Not saying they're all Capricorns are, but you see the Capricorn with the five of swords. This is a lot of jealousy. Envy. Trying to kill and destroy. Uh, you know, like negative influencing and... Uh, Toxic, codependency, uh, not willing to change, like really low vibrational people, yuck. Like I'm serious, like this energy makes you, yeah, I can't make this up. They're doing stuff, they're doing magic on this person and on you and this person still doesn't see it. They have to walk away from this energy, whoever this is. Look, this person, these people are miserable. Your person is miserable and sad because they cannot believe that they lost the opportunity to be with you. Some of you, this is a lost opportunity. This is, some of you, this is this person's karma. You are someone's karma right now for degrading you, for caring too much what other people think, by listening to other people, staying stuck, not changing. Yeah, they're stuck and bound to this devil energy, this third party. Some of you, your person is trying to, you know, because Jesus is here. Jesus always, you read the scriptures, whether you're a uh, Christian or not, or you read the Bible, or you're spiritual, whatever. I don't follow any religion. But if you read the scriptures, Jesus never, never hang out with people who were already saved. Like he wanted to be there for those who are lost in situations like this. Sinners. Who have done stuff who aren't willing to repent willing to heal willing to their go into the deep shadows of themselves and decide no i don't want to be there i want to shift and that's where jesus come in I, we all been there every life worker has not perfect okay let me just say that and i feel like we could be talking to a light worker here who is meant to become this light worker high magician and all of this has been blocked for this for the decisions that they have done in the past and they're willing to change now I'm not saying that everybody is in this energy. This person could stay like that in the five of cups energy if they're not willing to change, if they're not willing to repent, if they're not willing to, you know, ask for redemption, do the right thing. Because that's all it takes. Also, communicate clearly. This person could have lied. Could be a lot of lies, manipulation here. Also, staying stuck in that miserable energy. Someone's uh, very depressed. Okay. So whether this person you're choosing to be with them or not, I still think you should pray for them. If you're embodying that Christ consciousness energy or you're learning about that, pray for your person, okay? This third party is going to receive some serious karma. You're miserable. Yeah. Oh, wow. They could... What? Look, I can't make this up. They try to kill this soulmate connection, death. 
could be your work, like I said. Your work, your investment, whatever you're working on. This person is sad and miserable. Some of you, your person is going through an ego death. Also re having that transformation realization that you are their soulmate, you are their high level soulmate, and they want to work towards this. The eight of pentacles here. They want to invest in you. They really invest on something in the past that wasn't right, you know? They were deceived or they deceived themselves because if they were in a shadow, low vibrational energy, yeah, of course you will attract toxic, negative energy, also narcs. And here, these people have no soul or heart. So yeah, see, look, they wanted to keep this person confused, unhappy about you. Two to two can be significant. Someone's aligned here. Yeah, see, they're listening to the intuition now. About literally, I can't make this up. Your two counterparts here listening now to their intuition. Okay, so that's the energy, which is very good. Okay, so just continue doing you, focusing on yourself. This person could be emotionally stable, okay, or working on healing their stable divine feminine, divine masculine within themselves. They're listening to their intuition now, they're listening to spirit. Okay, they're healing something, it could be that healing rejection. Maybe they were. Maybe someone rejected them. If they're related to you, someone rejected them or did something. This Queen of Pentacles energy. Oh, wow. Oh, that sucks. So this person... Okay, so there's two scenarios here. This King of Cups could have chosen somebody else who have done magic on them to manipulate and emotion them because they were in a dark shadow side of themselves, right? Even, meanwhile, their person was in love with you. This person could have chose this Queen of Pentacles energies, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Again, Capricorn keeps showing up here. They could have chosen this person, and this person was waiting, was keeping them as a cup holder for the actual person that they wanted to be with. So your person was a cup holder for someone without that person telling them. Also, they could have used sex magic using this, your person, as the beacon for the sex magic to bring another person into their life. So it's all toxic, disgusting, okay? Now, that energy could have work, could not work on your person because your person is, per, is chosen. So that backfire on this karmic, okay? Now, your person was rejected from, from this energy. Also, it was rejected, the magic, the spell work, everything has backfired. I don't know if this person has used magic on your person as well to control and manipulate them, to keep them as a cup holder, and also so they don't feel rejected or abandoned, right, by the other person that they were attracted to. This person could also be into sex, same-sex energy, I'm hearing. So your person could have dealt with someone who's bisexual, also into polygamy or swinging or something like that, and your person was a cup holder. This is what they're healing. They're healing some type of rejection. Also, they're healing the fact that you might reject them because, yeah, they did that. This is the truth. This is what Spirit wants to warn you, that to forgive, okay? Yeah, this uh, this other person is waiting for another person. Could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Yeah, they don't want your person. So your person is healing this. But meanwhile, this person also was, it's very manipulative and controlling, okay? They could have used your person. It could be physical, I'm hearing. They could be really into, like, really kinky sex or something like that, I'm hearing. Your person, I mean, take it how it resonates. I don't know if your person is into kinky sex or something like that, or, or they are. But there's some type of toxic sex here. It's really toxic. Yeah, you're not into that. You're the divine empress, the empress energy here. Yeah, some of you, some, you found out about this with the tower car here. Scorpio energy, your movie Six of Swords, moving from rough water to calmer waters. Your person could be watching you. Yeah, they're saying they wanna be loyal to you. They want you to say yes. Bueno, the chariot, they want to move forward. I feel like this person is balancing themselves by, you know, staying single right now because they see through the illusions, yeah. They want to take the sleep of faith. Yeah, they know you're going to judge them, though. Or there's judgment here. I'm, I'm feeling forgiveness, though, with the four of wands. It's your choice, okay? All right. 
here. What else do we need to know about this third party? Let's talk about the Four of Swords, okay? Let's see, or the Four of Cups. Here is Four of Cups and the Four of Swords, please. Yeah, they're healing this third party. I can't make this up. This third party destroyed this person. Let me just be completely honest. And I know it doesn't excuse their behavior. They're, you know, projecting their trauma. They're on heal wounds towards you. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't, con you know, it doesn't justify also your, the way how you felt, the way how this person made you feel. They, they could have rejected you. They could have abandoned you. They could have blocked you, ghost you, ghost you. Yeah, they were playing the, um, very stupid. It's just stupidity. Very toxic, very low vibration. You know what I'm saying? They could have seen your worth or your growth, like it was too much for them and stuff like that. So that's why they entertain this low. Yeah, they, they lack self-worth. They were insecure. Okay, they, they, with the page of pentacles, they could have thought that maybe you thought that they weren't good enough because they have this one tiny pentacle, but that was not the case. That was their ego. Very big ego this person had, very arrogant, okay? They could be watching tarot, look. Someone's building their strength. They want to communicate something to you. Something about their past. So we have the four of swords, four, four, four. You see, that could be significant. Someone's healing their rejection, abandonment issues. Third party doesn't necessarily also have to be relations. It could be family. I'm also feeling that, family. Very toxic family, okay? It could be friends, also constantly partying drinking this i'm telling you someone did something in someone's drink yeah and that's the truth yes something has been illuminated that it was done in the dark with the sun here let me just confirm something the sun spirit is hmm. yeah so they're seeing this that they want reconciliation with the six of cup also, they're realizing that it's their childhood wounds that have got them into this mess. This is what they had to heal, their inner child as well. Now, this third party, yeah, this third party is going to be stuck in their head. Eight of Swords in fear. Higher font. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, Spirit says don't focus on this third party, whoever you are. Your person is thinking about you or thinking about how they can offer you this cup. I feel like there's nothing to worry about, honestly. Yeah, the moon, okay. Moon talks about secret intuition, so basically listen to your intuition, surrender to the divine, okay? Just be aware of this conversation because there are a lot of pages here. This person could be acting very mature or they were in the past. And some of you are mature, right? So Spirit is saying to continue focusing the two of ones on your, like someone's strategizing here. They see victory and success with you. They want to move forward. Yeah, because you are in your nine of pentacles energy. So be aware, use a spiritual discernment. If this person hasn't worked on themselves, change, because this person is stuck in fear. Like, And I think this is how they acted in the past. The thing is in the dark, what I'm seeing is that this also, this could be this third party looking at readings and stuff to see if what's gonna happen with this person, right? So your person wants you to know that they're single, that they're healing the situation, okay? The chair card here, cancer energy, okay? They could be dealing with cancer, uh, nine of pentacles, Virgo, cancer again, twice here, Pisces, Scorpio energy, Leo energy, Capricorn, yeah, this person is healing they need more time okay meaning focus on you do what you got to do let this person heal whatever they need to heal and that's what they're letting you know because they also see they see you they see victory and success on this in this healing that they're doing there are some fears that they think that you're gonna move on you know it's just what it is right now you need to move on and focus on your own things and not stay stuck in this situation because whatever energy you were stuck on that this person left you on they have to go through that now while you are focusing on yourself you might have a new love i'm not sure i'm not seeing that i'm seeing you more focused on yourself on your state uh, stability on your businesses moving forward yeah victory and very successful 
And uh, yeah, this person will meet you where you're at. That's what it is. That's what Divine Feminine, and Divine Masculine, and Twin Flame energy, that's what it is. You're not meant to be with each other when you're in a karmic situation or or unhealed. I mean, at least healing and still in your healing. Not just like karmic and still talking low vibrational energy, toxicity, and codependency and stuff like that. No, you're meant to be independent. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles energy. Independent, stable, relax, you know, practicing celibacy, abstinency, you know, being okay with Christ's uh, singleness, you know. You're okay with being single and your Christ consciousness energy. And that's the highest vibration you can be, which it shows this divine feminine is. If I'm asking, if you're not there yet, work on those things. You got to work on that. That's your... That's your homework, you know. Spirit saying that's your homework. This third party, you need to cut this off. I feel like Christ removed this third party from this reading. Thank you. Because I don't see it. Yeah. Why? Because there's divine judgment on this person. And I'm guided to leave it like that. Yeah. This person made a decision. It's you. They're going towards you. This person is choosing themselves as well. And when they choose themselves, they're choosing you. They're choosing to love themselves. They're choosing you. You are the love of their life, okay? See, when they do that and focus on themselves, do this hermit energy, they have to be in their hermit energy, healing, going within, asking for answers within themselves, trusting their spirit guides, talking to God, right? A lot of you is that. Like, you cannot, they can't, yeah. In order for them to have this stability, this union, this person wants union, the four of wands. But in order to do that, for this blessing to come in, they have to focus on themselves, okay? Also, I'm hearing clearly, don't focus too much on this karmic energy, third party. It's already it's already dealt with. That's why we're here, okay? All right, so since the new moon reading, let's see what the divine message want to let you know. Confidence is your key to success. New moon and Leo. Yes, Leo energy, okay? You and your loved ones are safe. New moon and Cancer, okay? It's a lot of new moon energy, wow. Oh my God, spirit. <laughs> Didn't I say that this person could be dealing with a Capricorn? A very toxic Capricorn. Guys, check your Capricorn birth chart and go see that reading that I'm gonna do for Capricorn because I, I, yeah, yeah. Someone's dealing with a very mentally ill Capricorn right now. This person has to heal because if they don't heal, and they come towards you, they cannot project why they didn't heal from this fucking Capricorn who left this person marked onto you. And this is why spirit, literally Christ, is protecting you from this energy. They're, this person is protecting you from your divine counterpart because they were dealing with the devil. And until they cleanse themselves, they heal, they heal this deception, all these illusions that they, they're stuck in that 3D energy, third party situation, all the stuff that you can possibly imagine your person had to go through. But that's what they're here for. This karmic followed them from a past life for this person to learn their lesson. And your person did. This is why this karmic cannot believe it. This is why they're going through divine judgment. This is, what, this is why this karmic not only is getting karma from the past life that they, they did, to try to ruin this connection but this lifetime damn the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in capricorn and we're actually in a new moon in capricorn so the next full moon in capricorn this is going to manifest i don't know if this is could be in the next year or so okay yeah the answers you need are coming <laughs> could be dealing with a gemini as well the lovers, yeah, we have the lovers here. Full moon and Gemini just passed. Don't let your past hold you back. Whoever needs to hear that, okay? Let me hear what the Lumerian has a message for you. I love this in energies. Yes, period. Yes. Okay. So they're saying one message. The infinite, okay? And then just guided me to take... They want you to know the evil eye. Usually we'll extend this, but ooh, four four on the clock. Should we extend this, period? Mm, okay. I say I think it's pretty clear. Yeah, I can't make this up. I can't make this up. I'm telling you, toxic fixation. Someone is attracted to your light and seeking to deem it. This is the third party. Dream attacks. You are under the attack of spiritual entities that are trying to defeat you in the astral realm, but they backfire. So this karma could be dealing with some mental health issues because of this witchcraft 
Yeah, so they were trying to create a soul tie for this person. Your person could have said maybe they're having dreams about you and stuff like that, and that fucking drove this karma crazy. I mean, why aren't you dreaming about me? Like, this person is abusive. You are so tied to someone and finding it hard to release this connection. Look, they could have freeze your assets or freeze this person's asset. Look, theft magic. Someone is out to take something that is yours. This could be love, money, energy. Sea South power. Guys, make sure you're doing your spiritual bath, okay? Make sure that you're cutting, creating boundaries with this person because... You cannot accept this person if they're still attached to this demonic energy, okay? You cannot. You have to protect your energy and create boundaries. And if you find out that this person is still talking to this person, is still friends, is still having some type of, this person is guilt tripping and stuff like that, cut it off. You got to protect your family, your investments and stuff like that because I feel like now this karmic doesn't have feelings for this person, but now they, they have some type of fixation for you, obsession, and now they're trying to destroy you through your person. And if your person is that naive, no, you need to be the level-headed here. You need to be the, the person who is grounded, okay? You need to tell this person, no, if you're still attached to this, like you, you're gonna feel their energy. You're gonna feel it. Listen to your intuition. Also, your spirit guides are not gonna let this person get closer to you if they're still stuck with this karmic energy. Keys on a ring, okay? Many options, yeah. See, they're still keeping their options open. No, they cannot come. Many options, decision, unconditional, unconventional, string along, one night stand. See, that's what they're doing. They cannot come to your energy. You're too divine. Also, this person could be doing that. Yeah, your person is in a low vibration. They cannot come. It's just, they're not ready. Also, they're so tied to someone who's doing, creating these situations. Yeah, mirror magic. I'm, I'm hearing, I'm seeing someone doing that. Mirror each other, self-image, relationship, reflect, or wounds, introspection. Yeah, this person needs to see themselves. Coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted friendship. Okay, what is this many options, spirit? Why not stand? What is this? Yeah. If they're thinking that they're just going to have one night stand with you, very immature energy, they can just, no, you're not accepting that. By the way, your karmic, the karmic could be saying that. <laughs> yeah. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Yeah, your person is mourning the separation between you and them. Because they, the, the initial intention was that and that backfired. That's why they went to other options who are okay with them doing that. You're not. Palm tree. You're stable, secure. You're permanent growth, endurance, flexibility. Yeah. Wow. Wedding rings. Union, wedding, marry, soul connection, eternal love. Promise. Yeah, this person was stabbed in the back. They could have married this person. I'm telling you, this person is heartbroken. They were stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Yeah. This person turned on them. I'm telling you. Yeah, not today. Not dealing with hurt, avoiding conversation, call, person, boundaries, still angry. Yeah. Some of you could. Yeah, I can't make this up. Look at this. They saw, They initially went towards someone who, who was okay with them having many options, right? Was okay with them stringing them along. Was okay with them having one night stand. They could have one night stand with that person and other person. It's like really toxic as fuck. Meanwhile, they rejected this ability that they were scared that you literally have to force this person to grow, right? Like you demand authenticity. You call this person out. You, you know, you're healing. You're in your healing energy. You're in a high vibration. This person was in a low vibration. Just what it is. You were vibrationally, you wouldn't align. This person is heartbroken, right? Deeply hurt, sad separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. This also could be the karmic because this person broke this off. This wedding, it could be an illusion. It could have been manipulation. Yeah, union, wedding, marry, soul connection, eternal law, everlasting promise. Also, your person wanted to marry you. This is another thing that this karmic is heartbroken because this person didn't see commitment or union with this person, right? Now, your person got stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. This could be also you. You could have felt this energy like you thought that there was union, right? You healed your heartbroken energy. Also that too, that expectation of that union, right? I don't know if there was a soul tie with your person or, you know, it's a contract, right? Some of you could have felt, you know, backstab, right? But now this is happening to your person. 
by this karmic. See? Not today. This person is not, like, this person could be calling them, like, obsessive. You know, this your person is avoiding this person at all costs, creating boundaries, right? They're still angry at this energy. Also, they're angry at this whole situation. Like, why did they do this? Like, this person is constantly overthinking this. Yeah, because they accepted a karmic relationship. That's what it is. It's a lesson. This person is learning a very tough lesson. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. That's it. That's it. Look, they want kisses. They dream about you kissing you and stuff like that. Unconditionally loving, giving, receiving affection, falling in love. Yeah. Now, the infinite energy. Okay. As Lumerians were only partially incarnated, their bodies were much lighter, less physically actualized, and less affected by aging. They were also aware of the infinite nature. This card of rebirth can appear after challenges that have required a level of surrender. A level of surrender. This third party, someone needs to surrender this shit. Okay. You have arrived at a beginning. Revel in your newfound inner freedom. Blockages have fallen away and there are opportunities to step into. But protect those opportunities, okay? Protect your peace. Stretch your wings and arise like a phoenix, born anew, ready for a new cycle of growth. Celebrate, honor the road that brought you here and prepare to take fight with the tools you have gathered through your elevation process. So a lot of you, you're ascending whether it's with your person or not, you know? And it's just what it is. Make sure you like, comment, and share, my beautiful people. And that's what I have for you. I hope this helped and bring you clarity. I'm sending you love. Don't let your past hold you back. Don't let this third party, whatever situation, hold you back, okay? Continue growing. It's just a lesson, okay? And that's where we grow. That's where we elevate. That's where we ascend, okay? Don't stay stuck in the victim and codependency. Let that go, okay? I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.